So, I have this roommate and there have been some changes to the policies for the lease at the point at Central and people are kind of freaking out but you know my roommate took it to the next level like he went above and beyond he's a superstar in his field like one day I come home and I see him running around and he's just yelling and flipping out and he's just saying the caps are coming the caps are coming the electricity caps man the electricity caps are coming man you don't understand and I'm like my dude can you chill out? What are you trying to tell me? Uh, just, listen, this is ridiculous. Our electricity, we have to pay for our own electricity? That's, that's absurd, man. I'm just like, dude, there, it's, it's gonna affect like less than 10% of the residents. As long as you don't leave the oven on overnight and you don't have the AC constantly on, you don't sleep with your lights on, you should be fine. Like there's nothing for you to worry about. So he looks at me, he says, no more lights until the sun has set. We will not turn on the heater unless the temperature has dropped below 40 and there is no way of touching the AC unless the temperature is above 95. I'm telling you, that kid's nuts. Hey, um, I've noticed that you've been, you know, using quite a bit of uh, electricity. So um, I got you a light schedule, you know, it's daily. So, you know, when you use your electricity, um, also, here's your, uh, here's your candle allowance for a week. It uh, you know, should help you with most things during the day. Also, it's a, it's a candle bell for you. All right, well, you know, you take care and uh, you take care of yourself, all right? all right? It gets worse and this is the part that like hits me in my heart because I feel, I feel partly responsible for this. One time I come home after my class was canceled Tuesday and as soon as I open up the door, I hear like water boiling, but it's not like the normal sound it makes. It's like the sound after water's been boiling for a while. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I do. Well, it, it does make a different sound and that's when I see it. He called it the rolling boil of eternity. He had like this Da Vinci moment where he was saying how he was like, making mankind greater and everybody's gonna benefit from this but like i just look at him and i'm like greg this is crazy like i'm not even gonna deal with this i'm gonna go out with my boys we're gonna grab lunch by the time i'm back home like please get rid of all of this i can't handle this right now and like i like i like i said i i went out with my boys we had lunch it was cool and i was and as i was approaching the door i see water under the door. I took down the rolling boil of eternity. Happy? Yeah, but you left the sink running. You expect me to wait for the water to get hot every single time? You are lucky I already pay for renter's insurance or you will have to pay for this mess you cost. What do you mean, already? Haven't you heard? Next year, we'll be required to have renter's insurance. Fund. That's it. I'm leaving. What? This is not the environment for a genius. Yeah. Just know that. Then what? He left. He told me that he went to a place that was closer to campus, whose events were better, who had a friendlier and better staff, that did not require renter's insurance, and that did not have any electricity caps. Where did he end up going? I don't know. I haven't heard from him since. Is it too late to renew my lease? I didn't quite catch that. Is it too late to renew my lease? No other place compares to the point.